And there is no more important function for the federal government than national security. And I want to explain something to you about what that means in the 21st century. It means a couple of things. It means a lot of things, but there are two I want to focus on. The first is there are still state actors that are dangerous to us. Iran's nuclear ambitions go beyond just a country that wants nuclear weapons. Iran wants to become the dominant power in the Gulf region. They are investing in missile technology and in small, fast boats for the sheer purpose of being able to inflict maximum pain on the U.S. Navy in that region. Their goal is to run us out of the Gulf, the Persian Gulf, so that they can control the Straits of Hormuz. And when they can do, they control billions of barrels of oil a day. You want to bring the world economy to its knees, you want to empower a country to be able to do that, you turn over the Persian Gulf to Iran. And what they're investing in is the ability to drive us out of the Gulf region. So as much as anything else, the reason why we should care about Iran and the Middle East is that their intentions are clear. They want to become a hegemonic power in that region, and not just at our expense, but at the expense of the world. And there's only one nation on earth capable of stopping that from happening. And that's the United States of America. We face a second threat, and that's radical Islamic Jihad. And it is real. And it exists all over the world. And yes, it is people that are hiding out in mountains, plotting attacks against us here in the homeland, and our interests around the planet. And increasingly, and unfortunately, it appears to also be people living here among us, who become radicalized living here among us. Just like we will never be the same after 9-11, we will never be the same after Boston. This war against radical Islamic terrorism may last for the rest of our lifetimes and unfortunately maybe even our children. It is that long and we have got to be committed to winning. Because there is still evil in the world and evil must be defeated. And the United States of America remains the only country on earth with the ability and the willingness to call evil for what it is, confront it, and defeat it. Now that doesn't mean we're looking for, for countries to invade. It doesn't mean we go around the world looking for civil wars to get involved in. It doesn't mean we can solve every crisis and every problem on the planet. It doesn't mean any of that. But I'm just telling you, there's nothing in the world to replace us. The United Nations can't do it, I promise you it can't. Oh my God. China can't do it. Russia's not going to do it. In the absence of American leadership, there's chaos. And when there's chaos, that's where evil flourishes. That's where it spreads. And that's where it eventually comes to visit us. We should never give up. We should not look for unnecessary conflicts to be involved in. Like I said, America can't be involved in every war. But we cannot give up the mantle of national security. Because all these conflicts that are happening around the world, if we don't solve them there, one day they will find themselves here. And then we will have to do, deal with them. 